Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. We have so much going on. Congrats to those of you that have already beaten Necropolis for the best players that I trust that jumped in the first 24 hours and at least did one path. I can confidently say it took them the same amount of revives it took me to do the Abyss, which is about 100. And this is why I continue to say that the best thing you can do uh, in this game is hoard four hour crystals as much as humanly possible. You will need them, you will wish you had them, and you will utilize them when you do Everest content, as Kabam likes to say, or any kind of long form content, even though I'll be the first to admit. You have never seen someone hate, and I mean hate, long fights more than me. If you just told me, Prof, you're such a great guy. We're just going to automatically let you skip to the boss and start there in the first 14 fights of the path. We're just going to say, hey, you get to skip, which, of course, would be entirely illegal and unethical. But uh, even if that was the case, I bet it would still take me what feels like 100 revives to get the nameless uh, Grandmaster down. So uh, I am not at all confident. <laughs> Uh, and I, th I guess that's the point. They wanted people who are great players to feel a little whiplash from fights that were harder than anything they've seen. And that's how the Abyss was when it first came out. So now we have to transition from that to a big question. In my Black Ice was store, I always like to buy it when there's 50 days remaining on the pass so that I can just get another 30 days. It's a weird quirk, I know. But we have the seven star hero crystal, which takes what 260 of the black ISO store uh, tokens. I think it's 260. I purchased it, and so when it resets, it tells you the price again. And of course, right now, it just tells you they uh 100% seven star drop rate which is hilarious it's a hilarious thing that if there's nothing else in a crystal they have to post public drop rates for legal purposes since you're spending cash on it but what's also hilarious is the new ask so kabam should have just about doubled the six star scarlet witch price i think if the seven star basic crystal is around 260 this should be around 320, max 350. If it was 350, though, I would not be a fan of promoting it. Because I think Black Iso Store Scarlet Witch was on most people's deck that had her six star version, at least if she was ranked three or higher when Battlegrounds first came out. But I can't tell you the last time someone used her on defense or offense in Battlegrounds of any meta. Now, maybe I'll eat my words. And this will eventually be something that everybody uh, uses if they have her for a special nullify um, or damage over time month, maybe. But other than that, let's be honest. How much are you going to use this champion? Because I am never going to use her. And I never think to myself, gosh, my roster would be so much more complete if I had a seven-star Black Ice Restore Scarlet Witch, a, a switch as they call her in the community. And so the price of this is absurd for what you get. It's priced like an eight star of all things. And that of course doesn't exist and hopefully won't for a very long time. So in that regard, I am disappointed that it's priced so high. You compare it to things like the two to one ratio of these crystal shards, for example, and it's worth noting that while these aren't the best values, they're still a much better value than this. Uh, also, I wish this wasn't two to one. I wish it was just one to one. These things are actually harder for me to get in some cases now than tier four class catalyst. In fact, I have way less tier three class catalyst than tier four. And people might think, well, they're pretty easy to get. And they are, but it's still annoying to me that after a certain point, they just don't make that resource a priority for Paragon players. And I know it's because they think we don't need it because we're concentrated on six stars and seven stars. But I still rank up a lot of three stars, a lot of four stars, and even a decent amount of five stars 
during the level up event and for Summoner Trials Arena. So that's a little annoying, a weird uh, complaint. I get it. But all in all, this price is absolutely ridiculous. It should be at most 350 I do not recommend this at all. In fact, I very much recommend the 7-star basic crystal 10 times out of 10 over her. And people will say, but Prof, this is a guaranteed champion. That's why it's priced so high. Yeah, but how valuable is the champion now in the game? If she's not going to help you with battlegrounds, if she's not going to help you be your top 5 champ in uh, event quest or in Everest questing or in special quests, then she's become a trophy champ. And a trophy champ means you can tell people you have her, but she's going to collect dust on your bench. And if she's going to collect dust on your bench, she ain't worth it. That's my rant. Thanks for watching.